Almost there. And... Well, why'd you go flying over there, buddy? Hi everybody, this is Fat Frog, and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok map. And it's nighttime here, and we want to get going on a sheep ranch. We got a wild sheep over here. And we're going to need to put some taming food in the slot to get it going. We want to uh, have like a nice ranch here, be able to raise up some wool. And uh, and so we got to tame up some sheep. And so, in order to do that and uh, passively tame these guys, we're going to need to make some sweet vegetable cakes. Which take a couple of unique ingredients, and the hardest one to get is sap. And so we're going to have to go into the redwood biome. We're going to have to make some taps and install those to get going and making some vegetable cakes. So we'll talk about the recipe for that, and uh, and we'll get going on uh, on finding these uh, ovus. Okay, so we're coming up on the redwood biome here on Ragnarok, and here we got a yellow drop, so we might as well go ahead and stop and check this out. Oh, what do we get? We got a ramshackle Dunkelsaurus saddle, awesome, and a blueprint for some irrigation pipes. All right, so let's head over here. So the easiest way to get at the tree sap taps um, is to build a one of those nice uh, round tree platforms, but they're like super expensive. Uh, let me just uh, see. Well, the taps themselves to start out with are pretty expensive. They take 100 metal ingots and 40 cementing paste. Is that too terribly bad? Um, but uh, but they're not great. So we've got three taps already set up. Now we could access these pretty easy too, off of the back of a quetzal on the platform saddle. Um, like I said, or we could fly up to uh, and build a tree platform, or we could even make some weird scaffolding and uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, let's just see what those wooden pl uh, tree platforms cost to make. Um, that is 1,600 wood, 200 metal ingots, 600 cementing paste. That is crazy. And 600 fiber. So uh, we're not going to build one of those because I don't want to use up the resources on that. So what we do have actually is a grappling hook and I just learned recently just testing this out that you can actually gain access to these so now we can hit E and we can grab the sap out of here I've already got a few sap out of a different uh, tr tap so now we can get out of here and then we can check our other one over here and zip up the line here and get access to that one which doesn't have anything in it for some reason I don't know what that's about maybe it's bugged out one of the thing with the taps is that you have to uh, before they start collecting you have to gain access to the inventory which is kind of weird uh, it's kind of like I'm assuming it's just kind of a bug that they never um, fixed let's get access here get nine more of those guys all right so we'll drop down from our tap so we got our sap that's the hardest resource really to get all right detach that and now so the grappling hooks are mildly expensive too but it's much better than building either a platform saddle for quets and going through all the trouble of trying to get a quets uh, or building one of those tree platforms so the next thing we've got to find is some honey now here on Ragnarok I actually haven't seen them in the redwood biome where they're supposed to spawn but I have seen them on the sides of cliffs and uh, so we're gonna go over to where I do believe that they have spawned before and I'll uh, I'll show you where that's at so we'll be right back all right we are back we have a little issue with frame rates but we did locate a couple of beehives right down here let's land and I will show you on the map where we are and I'll pull out the GPS so I don't know if this map is working but if we are at 51.7 and uh, that's latitude and 38.8 latitude I believe that's working uh, let's see if that makes sense I guess it does so let's uh, buzz out of here hop down let me see if I can jump and get access no way so we're gonna have to use our grappling hooks I believe can I get access oh we got we got bees here so I'm gonna do this and ah, I'm being attacked oh my gosh help 
Oh, that's a lot of bees. I should have worn my ghillie suit. I'm taking quite a bit of damage. And we're out of here. Alright, so we got one thing of bees. How much honey did we get? Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five honey. So I think it takes, yes, it does take two honey to make a sweet veggie cake. So we are at two sweet veggie cakes. So we're going to need a little bit more. Let me just go back down here and see if the bees are still mad at us. They are not. So I'm gonna, let's grab some food. I'm going to heal up. And then we're going to do this. Grab this guy. We've got two grapples left. Alright. And we're going to gather honey. And we're going to disconnect. And we're going to zip ourselves over here. That'll be faster. Oh, shoot. Alright. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you for the honey bees. So that's pretty good. I have seen a couple locations on the map where honey spawns low enough where you can actually just walk up to it and get it. And I'm going to go see if I can find uh, at least one of those like locations and show you. I don't know if honey spawns in the same spot uh, each time or each you know different map. What is with the frame rates? Um, but it should be spawning probably in uh, close proximity. So I'm going to take a little rest here and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back and we found ourselves another beehive. And this is kind of a cool little place, by the way. Uh, it's got a well over here. And we put in a little starter base. We didn't spend a whole lot of time over here. But I just thought I would share with you the location. I Like I said, don't know if these spawn here all the time. Uh, let's check a look at the map and the GPS. We are at 32.2 uh, latitude and 29.7 longitude and so I'm gonna try to position myself where we can fall on this beehive maybe and let's see how we do here aha gather honey hit it bees all right we're running running in slow motion we are attacked by bees of all sizes and we're off uh oh that wasn't good come on uh oh we're in trouble we're in trouble Oh boy, we're in trouble. I'm gonna die! No! No! Uh, <laughs> well, it was really cool that I, I died by um, my old base over here. And I think, yeah, the map is glitching out on me. I didn't think we were at that location. Um, so we'll respawn at our well place over here. All right, so we are here. Hopefully the bees have stopped attacking. I kind of think they will. Uh-oh. Um, let's see, try blog, is that it? No, no. Explorer notes, there, tribe manager. Did my Tranodon just die? Uh, day, uh, hold on. Tribe member Eve was killed. Okay, so hopefully my Tranodon is gonna be okay. said we're just over here okay there he is there's my copy and they seem to be just fine excellent let's grab the copy all right I need my body Whoa. let go get I want to ride ah okay so I need to still find my body beehive still there um, Where's my body? It should be right here. I was dying. There it is. Oh, yeah. Duh. We've got this cool new feature where we've got our bag is marked. I thought for some reason that was a supply drop, but that was a uh, silly thing on my part. Whoa, is that Elfo Carno? It sure is. We'll have to attack that a different day. How's my stamina doing? Oh, this level 15 oh we got a micro raptor here all right terror birds down all right I'm gonna try to get my stuff oh, I really like that um, uh, transfer all here we go 
Right, let's get out away from that Microraptor that just really wants to knock me out. All right, back here. Let's put on our stuff. So, yep, going after bees is dangerous. I think you can uh, do a lot better if you're wearing a uh, ghillie suit and uh, using some bug repellent. But um, if you're a little faster than I was just there, you shouldn't have too much trouble trying to get it get away from them. Using the uh, grapple to pull yourself along while you're sort of in that stupefied state is also good. So anyway, we've got our, uh, most importantly, we've got our ingredients to make veggie cakes. We will need to make up a batch of stimulant or two. And uh, we'll do that when we get back. And our honey has a spoilage timer. Uh, we've only got seven minutes back, so we've got to get back really quick and get this done. Oh my gosh, we got to hurry. This honey is going to spoil any second. I forgot we had made up some stimulant. And uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, stimulant. There it is. All right, so we made up the stimulant. We need some fiber. Fiber's in here. I already put sap in here. Okay, let's get going. Put all the honey in there. Everything in here. You need the blueprints. Uh, no, I don't need that there. Uh, I don't need blueprints at all. Uh, light fire. I need to get more ingredients. Uh, um, let's see. I think Savarut we need. Savarut, Savarut, Savarut. 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 Okay, Savarut. Put that in there. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta check the recipe. I What's the recipe? And we got several stimulant fiber, rock carrot. That should do it. Okay, I'm back. All right, rock carrot, rock carrot, rock carrot. Come on, rock carrot. Oh, I'm in the fire. I'm in the fire. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Phew. Okay. All right. Um, sap, rock carrot, fiber, water. I'm gonna need some more water in there. Okay. I'm gonna grab some more water. I can't remember how much I can make but I want to make as much as possible. And over here, I have a drink of water, excess inventory. Come on, excess inventory, more water, and more water, excellent. So hopefully we can make up at least one veggie cake before this, um, all right, we already spoiled. Do we have any veggie cakes? Nope, dang it, Ugh. All right, so we're not gonna be able to make What's the timer on this? Uh, seven minutes. Okay, so we're okay there. So we need two giant bee honey. We need four sap. We need two rock carrot. We need two long grass. We need two savarut. We need four stimulant and 25 fibers. So we got our fiber. We got our stimulant, right? Uh, we got our rock carrot. We got our long grass. Nope no long grass at all. Dang it! Ugh. All right, there's only two. That's not so good. I'm in the fire again. I hate the cooking pot. Ah! All right, so let's see if we've got any long grass out here. Hopefully we have at least two. Yes, because if I can make two, then I can get veggie cakes for a male and a female Ovis. And then we can just breed them up. All right. All right, there's a veggie cake. So, we got a veggie cake. It has a spoil timer of one hour, 20 minutes. At least here in the cooking pot inventory. While we wait for our second veggie cake, let's just see. Uh, it's still one hour, 20 minutes-ish. Put it in the preserving bin. And now we are at uh, 13 hours, 16 minutes. So let's put that down here. There should be an Ovis hanging around outside. Let's go see. Hello, Pteranodon, I'm stuck in you. So I found a couple of highish level Ovises, because might as well tame some highish level ones. And I dropped them off over here with the Argentavis, because you can pick them up with Argentavis. Let's go up in the air. We gotta find our Ovis. They didn't despawn, I'm pretty sure, because we're in Ovis country. Is that an Ovis or a rock? That's an Ovis. Excellent. So, hello Ovis. 45. You're not very, very high level at all. Let's see what else we can find. Should be a better one around here somewhere. 
With Ovis, it doesn't really matter. I mean, they'll have a little bit higher health and survive. I don't think they're going to produce any more wool or do anything. They really don't have any other function for transportation or anything like that, although you can climb very high on an Ovis up rocks and that sort of thing. But if we don't find a decent one, we might as well... Oh, here we go. Hello, Ovis. What are you? Fifteen? What happened to, like, the 145 I brought over here? Alright. I might just grab a 15. It's just dropped a high level off the cliff over here before I began my journey. I don't know where it went. Oh well. We might as well just go ahead and tame up at least this Ovis. So that was a male down here I think and a female up there and we can make babies that way. Yes, you want to be tamed. 45. Ha <laughs> ha! Male Ovis! Oh, Willy. Willy, yeah, good enough for right now. Level 67. Gonna ride. Look at this. We're on our Ovis. The stamina is down a quarter. It's ridiculous. Ovises are practically useless for anything else. Let's go grab them. We'll drop them off over here. We do have a male, right? I'll have to double check that. Let's drop them off. Land. This will unfollow. Yep, male. So we'll get ourselves a female, and then we can get in the sheep business. And there's our other veggie cake. We only got one honey left, so that's not going to do us any good. Alright, let's grab the RG again. And I'm just kind of impatient for Ovis right now. Just got to find one. I see one way up ahead here. Lost the other one. Anyway, I really like the highlands up here. It's pretty cool. I love the Equus. And the Ovises are just really cool looking. Alright, what are you? Just gotta make sure you're a female. Yep. I'm not even gonna name you. Unfollow. Sweet. Alright, so we got our Ovis. We have an Ovis ranch. We gotta start. We got a male and a female. We can make some baby Ovises. Um, first, we're going to need to make them a pen, so I'm going to go gather some resources and do that. We shall return. Changed my mind about building a big uh, Ovis enclosure from the start. First, we're going to start off by breeding our Ovises. And we've got a cool little pen over here that I built for actually breeding the uh, Equus. And so we're going to breed these two Ovises, our new Ovises. So we are going to go to behavior and we're going to enable wandering. And we're going to go to behavior, oops, and enable wandering. And let's level these guys up real quick. We'll just give them some health to start out with. Where's the other one? And some health. There we go. These guys, oop, are these guys breeding yet? Are they too far away? They're both, man, there we go. Now we got some Ovis breeding go guys so how are we doing here oh, this place is too big you guys are pushing me around quit pushing me around so I guess this place is too big so we're gonna have to make them stop wandering and make this enclosure a little smaller actually put you over there put you over here and it, ugh, since this is S plus stuff, we can just pick this up. Grab foundation here. I don't know why that's different. Hide. Oh, you can hide it. That's kind of cool. Uh, pick up a close railing. I broke one of them, didn't I? Uh, pick up fence foundation. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, so let's do this now. Grab foundation, railing. All right. Can I snap it? Can't see. There we go. And our other one. Snap. 
half that. Did I, did I just do that? Uh, man, I sure did. But I can pick it up. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's move this guy just a little bit. And this lady just a little bit. And we can still put this down right here. Stand back a little further. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Patience. And there we go. All right. So now we can go in here and hop off of here. No. Let's see. Can I access this guy outside, or is it going to make me access? There we go. Behavior. Enable wandering. Okay. Behavior. Enable wandering. Ha <laughs> ha! You're stuck. Now you're breeding. Okay, so let's uh, pick this guy up. And we'll just leave that there for now. There we go. What? How close do these guys have to be? I don't have to hit the stupid you thing. Alright, so we'll do the stupid unfollow business over and over again with the horrible sound until they, uh, they breed. They're done. I hit you forever as I usually have to do. And now they're in good shape. So let me hop in here and disable wandering. Whoa! What the heck? And we'll disable wandering here. Well, what do you guys think? You're going to be parents. Aggression level attacking target. <laughs> I must have whistle attack uh, target. So, yeah, we're all disabled, right? Yeah, sweet. So we got this guy going. Let's get here this guy out of here. Look at him. Hop. He's so excited to be a papa. Oh, Bob Bob Black Sheep. Alright. Ooh, that's a good name, isn't it? This Wooly? We're going to change his name. Uh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. How do we do that now? Uh, uh -huh. E. Options. Change name. Yeah, they've changed it. So, Ba. Baba. There we go. Accept. Your Baba. What are we going to call you? Are you still wandering? Disable wandering. Yep, there we go. Alright, now we'll change. What do we got? Options. Change name. We're going to need a name. Mother of all of us. There we go. Because you are our breeding stock. We might actually tame up some more wild ones. Um, but uh, but until then, you are the mother of all of us. Gestation is going very nice. We got the rates turned up because uh, I hate babysitting for hours and hours. Well, hello. You're so cute. Look how happy she is to be a mama. She's so happy. All right. Well, I'm happy too. We're going to get our Ovis going. And, uh, and I think, I think uh, we'll just wait till we get a baby. Well, here we go. Almost there. Almost there. And... Oh, how'd you go flying over there, buddy? Alright, come on. Uh, imprint on baby Ovis. Just accept quickly. And behavior, disable wandering, and... Ah, where'd my food go? Oh, I got some Ninja Berries. Hold on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There we go. For some reason that didn't work that way. There he is. All right. Yep. Maturation levels are turned up a bit too in the single player settings. So this guy's going to grow up pretty fast. Actually, what are we? We are a female. Sweet. That's going to make uh, breeding a lot better. So level 61. Let's just check uh, the stats so far. Health will be 320. Stamina 220. Uh, and we got melee damage at 266% and movement speed at 100%. Not that it makes a bit of difference. So this uh, little girl is growing up fast. Uh, let's see. I think we will call you... Options. Oops. Still getting used to this new wheel. Options. We will call you baby. Baby number one. There we go. We accept you into our ranch. So that's going to about do it for today. We've got our brand new Ovis, our brand new Ovis baby, and uh, we got some honey today. We did a whole bunch of different things, 
And uh, this torch is really cool in this mode, by the way. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.